Hi there, my name is Elliot and I'm a customer success manager from Live Tiles. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use um, two of our products called Live Tiles Build and Live Tiles Blueprint. And they're both more focused around information architecture than our third product that we offer, um, which is called Live Tiles Design. So I will touch on Live Tiles Design throughout this video. However, if you'd like to see a lot more information and tutorials on Live Tiles Design, please check out some of the other videos within this YouTube channel. So today you can see I've got in front of me um, Live Tiles Blueprint, and this is the first product that I'm going to be demonstrating. Um, what we're also assuming is that there are some pages that have already been created um, using design. So I'm going to skip, skip that step um, simply because um, that will sort of focus on the design product more than the blueprint, which I want to focus on today. So again, you can see here that I've got the option of um, dragging in lots of content um, from the top bar here. Very similar to what I've got in the design canvas of Live Tiles Design as well. Um, but we've got our root site sitting here. Um, and we've got the ability here to start to build out a template or a blueprint um, that we can then redeploy to uh, different site collections within this site or even different tenants uh, within Office 365. So um, what we're doing here when we create this blueprint is really just, as the name suggests, creating just a blueprint of exactly um, what the structure should look like. And then we go ahead and export it and then re-import it into the uh, location that we want it. Um, and then it will actually deploy it as, as physical um, sort of content and sites. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, drag a, a subsite underneath this root site. Um, and I'm just going to call it for the uh, purpose of this demo, Elliot subsite. Um, and then I'm going to click OK. And you'll see that underneath the root site, we then have a subsite which has been created. Um, I'm only doing this for the purpose of this demo so that you can see, but obviously you can create a number of different subsites um, underneath this root site if you, uh, if you so wish. And also subsites underneath this subsite that's been created as well. Then what we can go ahead and do is um, add a document library into this subsite here. Um, again, just going to call it Elliot Documents just for the purpose of this demo. Um, and what this is doing is creating a document library just with no content in it at all. So just, just as you would in SharePoint, um, creating that document library as a, as a blank document library. Um, I'll also add um, a custom list just so that you can see that's also possible. However, you can, you can essentially add any form of list or library uh, that you'd normally see within SharePoint here. What you can also do is add content, um, and the content here comes in the shape of the uh, Live Tiles design pages that I mentioned earlier. So these are previously created pages, and again, we'll drag and drop that page into this, uh, this new subsite. And then I'll just go and reference <coughs> which page we're going to transfer across. So in this case here, I'm going to transfer across um, just a, a completely random page. Let's transfer across um, HR in this case. <coughs> Click on OK. And I'll show you what that page looks like in a second as well. Um, and I'm going to name that HR there as well. So again, we can add in a number of different pages if we want to. Um, but let me just uh, duplicate this tab here and just go to the uh, site contents and just show you exactly what that HR page looks like just so you can see before we just so that we know what we're expecting when it's transferred <coughs> so if I click on that it's actually one of the demonstrator pages that's uh, within our 14 day hosted trial um, however this is what it looks like so we're expecting to see that in the pages library um, within our, uh, our destination tenant. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Again, this is a very basic um, demonstrator um, just for the purposes of this, uh, this video. I'm now going to click on export at the top here. <clears throat> click on download. And you'll see now that we're downloading a, downloading a JSON file. So let me just open that folder there so that we can reference that. That should just be my downloads folder. So then what we're going to do is we're going to leave this tenant and move across to, um, you'll see that I'm in Edge at the moment, I'm going to switch across to IE where I have another version of um, 
live tiles blueprint installed and you can see here the address bar is get live tiles and on this tenant here it's try live tiles so we're on two completely different tenants there <clears throat> so now I'm going to click on import at the top and I'm going to browse to find this um, this file that I've just downloaded in my downloads okay click on OK and you'll see that the same thing that we've just saved uh, or exported has now been uploaded into this new tenant and we can see that we've got our subsite containing um, Elliot custom list, Elliot documents and also that HR page. So I'm going to click on construct and it's going to prompt us to uh, save it first. So I'm going to click on save blueprint and again I'm going to call it Elliot blueprint just for the purpose of this demo. Click on OK and you'll see the name appear here to the right hand side once it's saved. Okay, and then the target site URL will be, in this case, the very top level site collection. So I'll just show you how we can pick that from this list, but I'm just going to click on home once this is loaded, just bear with me. And all we're going to see once we've clicked on home is just the, the uh, slash there. So I'll click on OK and then wait for it to process. And then we will go to the site contents. I'll just wait for this to uh, confirm that it's finished. And then we'll go to the site contents and I'll show you exactly what has been created uh, using the tool. So it says the uh, construction is complete um, and everything has worked successfully. So I'm just going to close that. And if we go to the site contents, again, just going to refresh this. And just a reminder what we're looking for is a new site, con uh, sorry, a new subsite. And in that subsite, we're looking to see um, a document library and a list and a page. So we named it, if you remember, Elliot's subsite, and it was created less than a minute ago, so it is there. If I click on that subsite, we should see in the site contents three items. So I'll just go there, go to site contents. <coughs> And there we go, so we've got Elliot Documents, which was created, we've got Elliot Custom List, and in the site pages, we should have the HR page, which is there. So if I just click on that, you'll see that it should resemble the exact HR page that we've just copied across as well. So a really easy, straightforward, you know, quick way of transferring content across to um, either different site collections, or alternatively um, different tenants as well. Where we see this being useful is if you're starting from scratch and creating a, a whole new sort of um, portal or intranet or digital workplace, whatever you're creating within SharePoint. Um, and it's just a really quick way of dragging and dropping things onto the page to then save that template and create that infrastructure really quickly. Um, it's also pretty useful where you're spinning up um, subsites or site collections. Um, rapidly within uh, within a tenant that has the same structure every time so for example team sites and project sites this may be really useful for so just to recap on what we've done there we've been through um, and created not not during this video but we've created a page using live tiles design and if you do want a free trial of uh, live tiles design um, you can go on our website live tiles.nyc <clears throat> and click it on try free so if you click on try free, there's a form you fill in and you can request a free trial there for, for our products. So we've created pages, as many as we like, using LiveTiles Design. We've wrapped them up into a blueprint or a template using LiveTiles Blueprint. And then we've transferred that and redeployed it in another location or in the same tenant over and over again. So Blueprint's all about copying and pasting um, the architecture and content in terms of pages. Um, what we also then have to, to sort of maintain things going forward or if you're doing just small um, tweaks to the information architecture as well, it can be handy, we've got Live Tiles Build. So this is the, almost like the home page of Live Tiles Build, the main page, um, and you can see here this is referencing all of the um, subsites. So if I click on I want to view my sites, you can see all of the subsites that we have there under this main site collection. Um, and we can drill into those as well and, and sort of edit that subsite and, and make changes to it in terms of the settings um, on, that sub, on those subsites and also in terms of the content. 
Um, so I'll show you that in a second. But essentially here we have also underneath the all of the lists and libraries that sit within that site that we've just selected. And what we can do is, is click on these and then um, update who we're sharing this list with or this library with, uh, maintain the permissions in there and also delete the list as well. So why, why is this good? Why do we want to do this? Um, everything here is on one single page. We're not clicking backwards and forwards and waiting for pages to load. Um, and it's also in natural language, so it's, it's a little bit more understanding, uh, sorry, a little bit easy to understand um, exactly what you're, what you're doing here. It's also a little bit easier to see the structure than the, the typical SharePoint way. Um, so we're, we're trying to make things a little bit simpler and easier here when it comes to information architecture as well. So I'll just show you how we can also click in to view different subsites as well. Um, <clears throat> let me just click on this one here, for example. To edit this site and build, and again that will load smaller subsite. This one, and then we can click in and we can see the sharing, for example. And again, it gives you descriptions here, it's nice and easy to use. Um, and we can do something, i.e., manage that list, and then we can see who we're uh, sort of uh, sharing this with. And, and it's got all the permissions and things on here, so we can, we can do quite a few tweaks around um, ownership in here. And like I said, we can also delete this list. I'm not going to here because that's a, an active list, but we've got the ability to do that. So just to, to sort of recap on, on what we've got here, um, if you've got an existing um, tenant with the structure in place, um, you can use LiveTiles build to maintain that structure. Um, and when I say structure, I mean sites, subsites, lists, libraries, um, and you can also create from LiveTiles build as well. So if you were to install LiveTiles build on a completely blank tenant, you can start from scratch and start to build out your architecture like this. But it's a, it's a live um, sort of feed of everything that's, uh, that's within the tenant. Um, so it's slightly different to Blueprint in that respect where you would go ahead and create your Blueprint with Blueprint and then transfer that information and deploy it to a certain area. So that's it's almost like a, a big bang one you know, you've got one shot at it, whereas this is a main maintenance tool and it's ongoing. So again, just to recap how everything fits together, um, you would have your uh, pages designed in design initially. Um, you may, if you want to, make some edits in LiveTiles build just to create some of the structure there, but you don't have to, that's optional. Equally, the pages being created in design is also optional. Um, you then go ahead and, and map out um, in Blueprint exactly what you want it to look like, like I'm showing on my screen at the moment. And as I said before, this can be a lot more complex than you see at the moment on my screen. You then save this file, which by the way is accessible you know, at any point in the future. Um, if you need to continue to redeploy these team sites or project sites or something like that. Um, and then you would deploy this to your um, environment, your chosen location. Uh, you may redeploy it a number of times as well if you've got a, a, a dev site or a, a sort of a test site in, in some instance. Um, and once that's complete, you can then go back into build to then uh, manage any further architecture, uh, potentially manage some of the settings and the permissions as well. Um, and then you would maintain the pages or make any small tweaks to the pages that you may need to do using design again. So that is a very sort of brief overview of LiveTiles um, build and LiveTiles blueprint. Um, if you'd like some more information, please do get in touch. Uh, my email address is elliot.green at livetiles.nyc. Um, and of course, you can request a, a free trial on our website, as I said, um, as well. So just log on to the homepage and there's a try free at the top right hand corner. We've also got the try it free here right in the center as you log on at the moment. Thanks again for your time and for watching this video. Take care.